everybody, Will here with the Tennis Tribe, and today what we're going to talk about is serve strategy in doubles, and in particular we're going to be looking at the deuce court today. So what I want to go over is the serve, and then the uh, what we call the serve plus one shot, so the first shot after the serve, and then kind of during the point, uh, we're going to be talking strategy, what you can do with the serve, what you can do with that next shot, and, and how you should really be thinking about winning points, and creating a game plan uh, as the serving team in the deuce court specifically. Uh, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking a lot about serve strategy. That's going to be the course that I release later this quarter, and we're really going to take a deep dive, and, and it's going to be kind of a mini-series on serving team strategy. So uh, I hope you really like it, and um, would love to hear your feedback and comments below after the lesson. So... First of all, we're going to talk about the serve itself, right? So this is us on the uh, the serving team. We're serving out here into the deuce court. For the purposes of this lesson, I'm going to say this is a, a traditional match with four right-handed players. Uh, if you're left-handed, take what I say and kind of tweak it to, to fit your needs. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about uh, finding the backhands and things like that. So, um, you know, depending on your strengths and weaknesses, uh, these things will adjust, but for these purposes, we're just going to talk about a traditional team with four right-handed players. So uh, for the server, what I like to do on the deuce side uh, against a right-handed player, most of the serves are going to be up the tee or into the body on the backhand side. And there's a few reasons for that. One is Obviously, the backhand is typically the weaker shot, so you're going to get a weaker return. But also, it's the, the preferential shot um, of the tee into this right half of the box because it will create a more difficult angle for the returner to pass your, your partner down the line. So your partner at the net is going to be able to be a lot more aggressive, which I'll talk about here shortly. So... Most of the time, I'm going to be serving T or maybe a, a slice or kicker into the body backhand. Um, we will also, obviously, you know, we want to be changing it up. So we're going to throw in some wide serves as well. And when we hit that wide serve, accuracy is more important than speed. So if you, uh, if you saw the email last week, I sent a article by a guy over in Europe who's captained some Davis Cup teams, and he did an, an analysis on um, on serving and what's more important, accuracy or speed. And in this deuce court particularly, on the wide serve, he found that accuracy is more important because if you hit a hard serve, say here, that um, is not quite as accurate, because it's to their forehand side, they're able to still hit a much harder return back to you. But if you hit a slower serve that's more accurate out here, you're going to get them off balance and you're going to have a slower return coming back. So really make sure you hit your spots on that wide serve. But like I said, we mostly want to be going T and body uh, against a right-handed player. Um, so the serve plus one, this is what we call the first shot after the serve. So um, you have your serve, you have your return, and then the next shot, it's the third shot of the point. It's called the serve plus one. So on the T serve, uh, what we typically want to do, because the ball is here, we want to pinch. So um, the player at the net here needs to be pinching to here and putting a lot of pressure on the returner to really narrow their window to be able to get the ball back cross court. The reason the T serve is so effective here is because for them to get that shot down the line, they have a very small window. You know, if the ball crosses the net here and they hit it from here, that ball's probably going to go out and land somewhere over here. So they have a very small window here, so it allows your net player to be more aggressive. So we want to pinch. Uh, poaching obviously is an option there as well. Definitely mix it up. Um, but with a T serve, we definitely typically will do one of those two things. Um, there's not really any reason uh, to fake a lot of the time on that serve um, because that down the line shot is, is real difficult. And you know if they can hit it, then um, we'll, we'll just give it to them and they'll probably make 30%. So next is the body serve. So on the body serve, we can really use all three net strategies. We can 
pinch some, we can poach some, and then we can also fake to really kind of throw off the returner. Um, the key here is going to be just continuing to mix it up, uh, stay aggressive, you know, give them the alley on a few of them, and, and uh, force some misses with some fakes and things like that. Uh, and then the wide serve, again, the server really needs to make sure they're hitting their spots here, because if they miss, then, then it's an easy forehand return. Uh, the fake is my favorite strategy on the wide serve because uh, as the person comes back to return with that forehand, they're going to see you kind of moving towards the middle and they're going to see that down the line shot really open up. And when you fake, you don't have to recover all the way to the alley. Maybe you still give them, you know, six to, to 12 inches, uh, but they're going to miss that more than they make it. Um, if they hit it here, you know, and it's going to land on the singles alley, uh, you'll probably want to get back and, and cover that one, but you don't have to cover the one that lands on the line because it's just such a low percentage shot. So faking, giving them the, the alley for a, a, a split second and uh, make them kind of change direction with that wide serve. So that's kind of a, a general strategy for uh, each of the serve locations. Obviously, you want to be communicating well with your uh, partner serving at the back so you know where they're going to be going and then let them know what you're gonna do as well. Uh, and then during the point, so really before the point starts, um, before any point starts, I like to find the backhands. So uh, in this case, the backhand is going to be, uh, for this deep player, just to the left of the center net strap. So we wanna be hitting balls kind of over this window here. Uh, this is obviously gonna depend on how aggressive the net player is on the other side of the net, which you should get a feel for as the match goes on, but if we can get balls right here in the court to their backhand, that's really going to allow our net player to be a lot more aggressive. So uh, the backhand's here. So if you're this back guy, you know, um, continue to try to work the middle without setting up uh, this net player here. If you do go down the line, uh, obviously the backhand is on this side over here. I don't recommend going for an all-out winner on this side a lot of the time. Um, sometimes it's best to just hit a jam backhand volley. So maybe you aim for the singles line or a little bit inside it. And if the net player's here, you know, they're going to have a, a kind of jammed backhand volley, which for most players at the 3-5, 4-0, 4-5 level, they're not going to be able to hit a very strong volley. And you're increasing your chances of making the shot by not going for the all-out winner. Um, as the net player, obviously, you know, you're looking to stay aggressive this whole time and, and try to put balls away, put balls at uh, the opponent's feet. Um, or, you know, if you do have one uh, that you're going to put, you know, back between them, obviously finding deep uh, to the backhand of, of the back player is going to be important. Um, really just staying aggressive as the net player is one of the most crucial things here. And and as the back player, you don't want to be going for winners, going for too much. Um, set up your net player. Uh, if you're rallying and you're taking your opponent wide a lot, that's going to create an easy angle for them to go down the line. So your, your partner is going to have to hedge over here uh, to, to try to cover that shot. So I really encourage you to kind of work the ball towards the middle on this side. So if you have any questions, uh, comment below or reach out to me. Uh, if this was helpful, uh, give it a like if you're watching it on YouTube or Facebook or wherever, um, and I uh, hope to hear from you soon.